Welcome into a Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament Preview. Jonathan Harrison here, once again, joined by Purple Insider's Matthew Collar. This Wednesday, the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament starts here in the Twin Cities. What should fans be looking for at this weekend's tournament? Yeah, I got to tell you, I mean, this is one heck of a conference to have in downtown Minneapolis. If people watched on Sunday when Indiana and Iowa played, Caitlin Clark, who's the most exciting player in the country, Mm -hmm. hit a walk-off three-pointer at home in, in front of that crowd. And guess what? Iowa's not that far away. So there's going to be a lot of Hawkeyes fans that come and fill up the arena in in downtown. And they're the most exciting team to watch, but Indiana is maybe the best team. They beat Iowa the last time they faced them and came into that game as the number two team in the country. Also a Minnesotan. There's actually quite a few that are featured in the Big Ten, but uh, Sarah Scalia is a key player um, for the Indiana Hoosiers. And, and they just have a really excellent all-around team. They have a player in Mackenzie Holmes who has a, a good, I think, argument for being player of the year this year, but a really complete team and maybe the best team that Indiana has had in many, many years. Uh, they, But you know, going into it, they have a chance to compete for a national championship, which you don't always see coming out of the Big Ten, but this year you certainly have that. That's just two of the teams Another one is making a strong charge themselves, which is Maryland. Uh, Maryland had just got a huge win over Iowa, and then they just beat Ohio State in kind of a barn burner as well. They also could have maybe the next Minnesota Lynx draft pick. Diamond Miller, she has made a great argument this year for being a top two or three draft pick in the WNBA draft. She plays for Maryland. She's super quick great playmaker. I, she's kind of a total package. And, and that's what I mean about like how exciting this tournament is, is that there's really stars all over the place. And oh, by the way, Ohio State's a pretty strong team as well. So there are a, a group of teams that I think are a cut above that all are going to be uh, you know, potentially final four elite eight teams. This is not like you're seeing a conference that this is the biggest moment of their year. This is trying to set themselves up to go into the tournament uh, flying high and have a chance to compete for a national title. That's how good some of these teams are. So if you're looking for quality basketball, you will absolutely have it. All right. So Minnesotans obviously want to know what Lindsey Whalen's Gophers, what their chances are in this tournament. So what are we expecting from Minnesota this tournament? Yeah, I think that the Gophers are looking at those teams that I just talked about as what they want to be at some point as a program like, say, Iowa, that is stable and has star players and and makes a name for themselves every year. But that didn't happen for Lisa Bluter and Iowa overnight. That takes years to build. And what Minnesota has, and and you're going to see them play Penn State on the first day, I think that's a game that they can win, is is youth. They've got a lot of young players. And and Lindsey Whalen from the start really made no bones about this, that this was going to be a year of transition, of development, of players learning to play under her. And there have been a lot of bumps along the road. It has not been an easy season for them, but they got a big win against Purdue on Sunday that might kind of propel them and gel them together a little bit to be prepared for the bigger stage. And of course, they're going to have the home crowd, Lindsey Whalen there, a lot of support from Gopher fans coming out, which could help them. I don't think you expect a deep, deep run into this tournament. So if you want to see them play, I would do it earlier than later. Uh, But I think what you want to see is belief from this group that they're going to be there next year. This program has kind of sputtered for a few years. COVID got in the way. Some transfers got in the way of that. But if they can keep this group together and grow with them, then a couple of years down the road, they can be something. So if you're looking to maybe see the Gophers before they were the Gophers, uh, this might be your week. But overall, just uh, this this tournament, it's been in Indianapolis in years past, brought a lot of energy to that town. I think it will have the same effect here in downtown Minneapolis. That's been a Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament preview. Thank you for watching. For all of your Minnesota sports coverage, be sure to check out Bring Me the Sports and Bring Me the News. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.